Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Nikki D, and this is the Beauty Cipher. And if you are new here, hey girl, hey, thank you for clicking on the video. And if you have not already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you'll know when I post a video. Girl, I think you like it over here. I really do, because it's a vibe, girl. <laughs> it's a vibe, girl. So today, 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 y'all, I got my hands on the newest concealer from Sephora, the Sephora Best Skin Ever Glow Concealer. Yes, hunty. Yes, hunty. Sephora ha oh, <laughs> has a new glow concealer. And you know your girl had to try it. Now, I said I wasn't going to be buying no stuff. And then Sephora comes out with a glowy concealer. Like, who told them to do that? How dare they? But anywho, girl, I went ahead and got it. <laughs> and let's see what the claims are for this. Now, this is the full description. Sorry, y'all. I, I need... I need to see. My bad. Okay, so this is a Sephora Best Skin Ever Multi-Use Hydrating Glow Concealer. It retails for $15 and they have 50 shades. Go ahead, um, Sephora. They have 50 shades and this says it's a medium coverage concealer. It's good for uneven texture. It says it's a new lightweight radiant sephora collection multi-purpose formula that corrects conceals and instantly brightens under eyes for a glowing natural complexion that leaves skin luminous and hydrated up to 12 hours okay sephora we're gonna see the color i chose is i believe it's 36 amber yep 36 amber which says medium with warmer undertones so this is 30 what 36 amber looks like the container is plastic and it has a clearer i'm not a clear this bone matte not we have matte cover it's Skinnier than the original. The original concealer had a, a fatter base and black top. So this is the doe foot. Kind of small. And this is what 36 Amber looks like, which I think will be... Um, a good color match for me so we're gonna try this out and see what we think now again this is medium coverage I already have one foundation I am wearing the best skin ever foundation and this it dries down to a matte I know I look glowy right now because I'm trying out a new primer but this is normally dries down to a matte um, foundation so I like to mix it up if I'm wearing a hydrating primer my foundation may be a little matte soft matte and vice versa but let's go ahead and, and try this out what I can say because this doe foot is so small, it's like I'm not getting a lot of product. You saw I had to dip back in um, three times. So that's the first thing. I'm going to use my, my little, my itty bitty sponge to blend this out. Y'all, these are new. I got these from Ulta. These are the Real Techniques Mini Miracle Complexion Sponges. They come in a packet of four. 
So um, Ulta was having a sale, buy one, get one 50% off. And I'm like, hmm, let's try these and see. This is my first time using this little itty bitty. It's small, y'all, my hands, I don't know. Let's see. It's creamy. This is creamy. Oh. Did y'all see how that blended out? This is a perfect color match too. Oh wow, y'all look at that. Y'all see that? <laughs> that blended out so... Okay, let's see. Medium coverage. This eye, I have a little problem issues with some darkness under there. Let's see how the Sephora does under this eye. Girl. <laughs> Girl, did y'all see? Are y'all looking at what I'm looking at? Okay, Sephora, I'm going to take a little bit off of here. <laughs> Girl, don't let none go to waste. Oh, I, I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad. Girl, I ain't even mad. It's medium coverage, but it did a good job with covering up my dark little issues on this side, y'all. Hold up, Sephora. Girl, I don't even know what to say. I don't. I don't even know what to say. Like, it's creamy. It blended out really easily. And it's medium coverage. But y'all, look at, look at the skin. Why did I not put my phone on vibrate? All right, girl, I had to go <laughs> silence my phone. But girl, look. Ooh, I think I like it. Ooh, I think I like it. This is not. I'm going to set it with the Sephora Collection Setting Spray. Now this is the, they've reformulated this. This is the original formula. And this one um, is mattifying. And since I'm wearing a hydrating primer, I wanted to mattify just a little bit under the eyes. I can see it is a little bright, girl. Oh, she cute. And I ain't even finished my makeup. Y'all, look at that. Y'all know Sephora, we might have another one. Girl, Sephora don't be playing, do they? Ooh. I shouldn't, I, you know what? I really should not be this excited about a concealer. I shouldn't. Something wrong with me. And if y'all excited, something wrong with y'all too. But that's why we're here, because we family, and you know, that's how we do. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm going to finish. Y'all, I like this. Okay, I want to finish my makeup, come back, and we're going to put this concealer to the test. Hey, guys, I am back. This is my final look, and the eyes is still eye, and the concealer is still concealing. What do you guys think? We're going to see. This says up to 12 hours. It is now 318. So we're gonna see how long this wears and how long it holds up. I'm not gonna do 12 hours worth of wear today, but you should get a good five to six hour wear out of me today. I do have some things I need to do. So I will be running around, going in and out, and we will see how this concealer holds up. I must say as of right now, I am liking it so far so good. So we'll see how it holds up. 
when I check in with you guys a little later. Hey girl, I'm back. It's about, I keep forgetting, it's 8.46. So I've been wearing this concealer for a little over five hours now. And let's look. You can see creasing and y'all, this is not the concealer's fault, okay? This that you see here. And I should have known this was going to be a bad concealer day when I woke up and my nose was stuffed up and I couldn't breathe. My sinus have been off the charts today. And I hate that because I really like this concealer. And this is not indicative of the concealer. So let's... My eye was running. <laughs> so I took my medicine. So this one looks a little better. I'm gonna have to give this a second try when my eye and my allergies aren't acting up so bad. But even with that, I still have a natural finish. It still looks good to me. I have creasing. Um, Listen, we all have creasing and lines up under our eyes. And because I was tearing up, it just makes it look even worse. And I hate that for this concealer because this concealer is really nice y'all this concealer is a winner for me this is a winner for me if it can hold up under my tearing and my allergies and still look this good she's a winner i am going to wear this concealer more this week so i can really get a feel of what of how it wears it's only been five hours and considering the con considering the conditions they had to be worn upon <laughs> it held up great so guys that's all i have if you like a hydrating concealer i think you will like this now if you are a full coverage girly and you need a full coverage concealer this one may not be for you because this is definitely a medium coverage you can build it up somewhat but you will not get a full coverage out of this concealer so if you have excessive um, dark circles you know and darkness under your eyes this this will not get rid of it unless you color correct first but if you are someone who doesn't mind a medium a medium coverage and you don't have a lot of under eye issues going on this is great it's it's hydrating but not too hydrating so yeah guys that's all i got that's all i got if you stuck around this long go ahead and click the like button subscribe and notification bell and comment down below and let me know have you picked up this concealer and if you have what has been your experience with it or will you go pick it up let your girl know and i will see y'all in my next video